。我已经没有什么可以告诉你了。你说啊，你还有很多事情没说，不是吗，帕斯特利？这是个交易，帕斯特利。这圣经是从你教堂成员那边拿到的，我们已经知道它是从哪里来的。它是从美国运来，前面把手伸到大陆，对不对，立。圣经，你现在就可以离开。带他回去他的牢房，我告诉你，他是不会说的。但是我有更好的主意。帕斯特利，这让你拒绝放弃办法。我并不意外。我不管你如何去做，为何去做。我要知道是谁偷渡圣经，你懂吗，陆先生？别担心，长官，我不会让你失望。Well, hello, Abby. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Mr. Given. How about you? I'm doing great. Hey, ask your dad to give me a call if he has a chance, okay? Sure thing, Mr. Given. See you later. Bye-bye. That's me, Abby Rains. I live in Nashville with my dad. It's just the two of us. My dad's pretty well known. He's an international photojournalist and has won all kinds of cool awards. Actually, it's because of my dad's job that this story begins. So I'll see you tomorrow night at the mall, right? Yeah, sure. Bye. Hey, Ab, how was school? It was fine. Jenny wants to know if I can spend the night tomorrow night. Uh, careful, Abby. That costs more than a dozen of your weekend shopping sprees. So is it okay if I sleep over? It's fine by me, but uh, I've got some big news to tell you. I've just accepted another assignment in China, and this time, I would like you to come along. Are you serious, Dad? Oh, that is so awesome. I was so psyched. A chance to see the world. Well, maybe not the world, but how many 16-year-olds get to see China? And although I didn't realize it at the time, it would be the trip that would change my life. Because in China, I became an agent of the Chinese secret police. Six weeks later, we were landing at the Beijing International Airport, where we met my dad's associate, Mr. Bai, and his niece, Lu Chen. I actually clicked with Lu Chen right away. She seemed totally cool, and I knew I was in for an adventure. For the next three days, Lu Chen took me all over Beijing while my dad worked. We went to the Forbidden City, Tiananmen Square, shopping. It was a blast. I even learned how to eat with chopsticks. Well, sort of. But seriously, being with Lu Chen was great. It was like we had been friends forever. Lu Chen was a Christian. 
I mean, I'm a Christian, only in China it's not quite the same as being a Christian in America. Or at least that's what I was about to find out. That Saturday, we all went to see the Great Wall. It was so amazing. The longest structure in the world. Some people say you can see it from the moon. Anyway, pretty sweet. But the really interesting part about the day was the stuff that Lu Chen told me about being a Christian in China. Lu Chen told me all about the problems the underground churches face, just because they want to worship God and tell others about Jesus. She said the government doesn't like it, that lots of Christians in China are harassed or beaten up and sent to jail if they talk openly about their faith or have church meetings in their house. I was shocked and a little skeptical. It all sounded pretty wild to me. It's not that I thought Lu Chen was making all of this up. It's just, well, I guess I thought if that really happened all the time, then more people would hear about it, you know? Anyway, that's when I thought it would be good to check it out for myself. Lu Chen, I have a favor to ask. Mm -hmm. Do you think maybe I could go to one of your secret church meetings? Mm, I don't know what your dad say. He won't mind. He knows how much I love my church youth group back home. Oh. So what do you think? Okay. It was done. I was officially going to an unofficial meeting in China. But my excitement didn't let me think about it for too long. I began to wonder how I was going to avoid letting my dad discover my little detour. Ready to go, girls? Yep. The meeting wasn't like any I had been to. Back home, the meetings are always really loud and everybody runs around talking before we start the singing. But this meeting was really quiet. I mean, even the singing was kind of quiet. And the people all looked so focused when they sang. I thought about how Lu Chen had told me that sometimes it takes two or three hours just to bring everyone together because they had to arrive at separate times to avoid suspicion. When I looked around at the faces of the Christians, I think I started to realize everything she was telling me might be true. These guys were obviously very serious about their faith, even radical if they have to go through all this just to have a meeting. The pastor talked about the times of Christ. He said that it would have been enough for Christ to be crucified for our sins, but the world had caused even greater suffering by mocking him, spitting upon him, and even whipping him. He also said that some believe being a Christian means that life gets really easy. But the fact is that if we live like Jesus, the world will also reject us and treat us like they treated Jesus. I had heard many sermons about how Christ took all of our sufferings, but I had never given much thought about us Christians suffering for Him. Lu Chen, would you like to introduce your guest? Yes, thank you. I'd like everyone to meet Avi. She is here from the United States with her father. He is a photojournalist. Huh? <laughs> no? How do you say that? Okay, he takes pictures. It's nice to meet you, everybody. And Pastor Lee, thank you very much for letting me come to your meeting today. It's very nice to have you with uh, Avi. I hope you enjoy your time in China. Hey, Avi, nice to meet you. So, this is Abby. Yeah. Abby, this is my brother, Leanne. Hi, Liang. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Lu Chen's brother invited her and I to join him in the morning for a short trip to the south part of the city. We agreed and spent another half hour talking, as they told me more about their house church. I was shocked to learn that the police recently arrested and beat up Pastor Lee. The reality of this whole situation was really setting in. Now I was beginning to feel a little overwhelmed. I wondered if I would have had that kind of commitment at home if we had to meet like this in secret. I thought about Lu Chen with a whole new respect and was anxious to ask her more questions. meeting yesterday was awesome and Pastor Lee was great. I never imagined what it would be. 
It was obvious Lucien didn't want to talk about the meeting. I guess I shouldn't have said anything. I mean, I knew their meeting was secret, but sitting in the taxi, I still didn't really understand. Unfortunately, it wasn't long before I learned why. What's going on? AB, you cannot speak freely about our meetings like you did in a taxi. But I didn't say anything, I just was talking about the meeting. It could have been any meeting. You mentioned Pastor Lee's name. A.B., this is not America. We have to be careful. You want to understand what it was like for Christians in China. But you don't. How do you know that text driver was a member of the secret place? And what if he saved my brother? Now I was feeling a little guilty. Lu Chen was right. My mouth had been engaged faster than my brain. A.B., I'm sorry I didn't mean to get so angry with you. Lu Chen... What's up? Why are you so upset? It's my brother. He has been smuggling Bibles for new Christians in our youth group. We know the secret place are after him, but my brother won't stop every. He says there's no other way for young people in our meetings to get a Bible. That's why he come here today, and that's why I'm so afraid. I know he's doing God's work, but I really worry about him. I don't know what I would do if he was sent to a prison. Come on, Abby, sit down with my dad. Come on, come on. And how long have I known you? Well, you know how I told you that Lu Chen is a Christian like us, right? Right. Well, in China, they have to do everything secretly. They can get arrested just for having a church service. They have plenty of churches in China, Abby. Yeah, Dad, but those are registered churches. You have to agree to obey the government's rules. You can't even have a youth meeting. And you have to sign your name just to get a Bible. I wanted to tell my dad about the secret meeting I had been to, about Pastor Lee and Lu Chen's brother. I felt terrible that I was keeping it a secret from him, but I didn't want him to freak out. It's been a long day, Abby. Get some sleep, okay, sweetheart? Night, Dad. Bibles in the pub today. So you have a Bibles in the pub today. Captain, yeah, it's my phone name. I don't know how those got here. They're not mine. Go the Bibles. And her. No, 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 no! I can't go with Dad. Dad somebody help me! Help me. I think you're getting just a little too worked up about this, darling. Good morning, Mr. Rance. Good morning, Abby. Oh, good morning, Quinn. Hi, Quinn. So, how has your trip of China been going, Abby? Oh, excuse me. You wouldn't believe the half of it. Ni hao. Oh, Mr. Bai, yes. Yes, I'll be right with you. I better take this call, okay? 
Epi, can I ask your personal question? Sure. You're a Christian, right? Yeah, but how did you know? I've watched you and your father pray sometimes when you sit down to eat. I'm a Christian too, but I have this problem. My brother is in the hospital. He's really sick. My mother is afraid he's going to die. I'm sorry to hear that, Quinn. He's also a Christian and he keeps asking for a Bible, but we don't have any. How can I help? Well, I saw you with Liang yesterday. How do you know Liang? Please, Abby. I have a few more minutes before I get in trouble. I was told Liang was the one to see about getting Bibles. I would do anything to help my brother, Abby. This is good timing because he just picked up some more Bibles yesterday. Maybe I can get one for your brother. Just give me a day or two. This is wonderful news. I knew you could help me, AB. You are my angel in disguise. Dad and I spent the day hanging out. Lu Chen was supposed to meet me at 3 o'clock that afternoon, and when she was over an hour late, I was beginning to wonder if something might have happened. I was also anxious to tell her about Quinn's little brother and see if we could get him a Bible. I was feeling more and more a part of Lu Chen's life, and I was excited and scared at the same time. But all my excitement was about to be shattered. Lu Chen, what's wrong? What's going on, Lu Chen? It's my brother. He has been arrested. They went to our house this afternoon and searched everywhere. It is like they know what they were looking for. They knew my brother picked out Bibles yesterday. How'd they find out so fast? The officials break in that he found an angel in disguise. We had no idea what he was saying. Abby, in China you never know who you can trust. You are my angel in disguise. Oh no. How could I be so stupid, Lucien? How can I do this? I don't understand what you are saying, Abby. Lucien, I'm the angel in disguise. The waiter at the restaurant. Quinn, he told me that he was a Christian. And he told me that his brother was in the hospital and wanted a Bible. But I didn't know, and I told him that Liang picked up Bibles yesterday. I'm so sorry, I didn't know that he must be a secret agent. Amy, we can talk about it later. I really have to go now. Where are you going? We also heard the police say that they were arrested past late tonight. I have to tell him. Well, you can't go. You could be arrested too, Luchin. Where can I go, A.B.? This is my country, and Pastor Lee is my friend. He will go to a meeting anyway. I have to tell him what is going to happen. Then I'm coming with you. I'm sorry, A.B., you can't. There's nothing you can do. Lu Chen was right. There was nothing I could do. I had already made a pretty big mess of things. I don't know what I would do if he was sent to a prison. But I couldn't stand around and let more people be arrested because of my stupidity. I had to do something. Otherwise, I just couldn't forgive myself. It was time to tell my dad. They've arrested Lu Chen's brother, Dad, and it's all my fault. Abby, what are you talking about? Lu Chen's brother, he's a Bible smuggler. And I told Dad, how oh, can I be so stupid? And now they're going to arrest Pastor Lee, and it's because of me. Because I listened to Quinn, he tricked Abby, me. Abby, slow down. I'll start from the beginning. Tell me tell me what, what happened. Lu Chen took me to one of her secret meetings, and that's where I met Pastor Lee and her brother Liang. I told my dad everything. How I had met Liang, about going with him to pick up Bibles, and about Quinn. We gotta do something, Dad. We gotta help him. I don't think there's anything we can do, Abby. This is not our country. But these are my friends. They're my friends, Dad. Abby, you cannot speak freely about our meetings like you did in a taxi. You're my angel in disguise. You're my angel in disguise. And I'm coming with you. No, I'm sorry, Abby. You can't. There's nothing you can do. Then I'm coming with you. No, I'm sorry, Abby. You can't. There's nothing you can do. I have an idea. Careful, Abby. That comes part of the desert. Maybe we can show you some crazy things. Quick. Come with me. Abby, what in the world are you doing? Abby, come back with my camera. Abby, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. 
Dad, when Lu Chen was telling me about the persecution of Christians in China, I asked her why more people didn't know about it. And she said that the government is trying to keep it a complete secret and they claim to have complete religious freedom in China. And they don't want other countries to know about what's going on. Okay, Abby, but that doesn't explain why we were going to the meeting tonight. Why it was so important that you bring my camera. Yes, it does, Dad. I told you. The police are coming to arrest Pastor Lee tonight. And? And you're going to take the picture of it. Oh, Abby, I don't think this is such a good idea. Do you know what you know what kind of trouble we could get into? Just My dad put up some pretty good arguments and questioned whether I really knew what was going on. But I was determined. It was a long shot, and we had to try. And before Dad could change his mind, we were there. Abby, wait! Mr. Bly will be back in a minute. Wait, wait right here. I really don't think we should Wait. be here. Wait! Come on, let's Did go! Did you see that? It's the police! They're arresting Pastor Lee! They're gonna take a picture, quick! No, Come on, right. Dad! Hurry, hurry! <laughs> Said Let's get out of here! Come on! Mr. Ray, are you okay? Mr. Bai, just drive, just drive, just get us out of here now, please. Mr. Ray, what's happened? Abby was right, they arrested Pastor Lee. Abby, this, this is more than we can deal with. We need to go to the police. Dad, those are the police. This is what I've been trying to tell you. Mr. Bai, just, just get us back to the hotel. We are getting no, out of China on the next plane. I'm sorry. We can't just leave them. I don't know what you expect me to do. We're in over our heads. We, we, we can get Dad, arrested. Being a Christian doesn't mean that life gets easier or any safer. Pastor Lee and Liang are getting arrested for the same things that we believe in. We can't just leave them, Dad. Sorry, Abby. You're right. What's your plan? I told you my dad would freak out. Well, actually, he didn't freak out as bad as I thought. Dad agreed to stay in China for one more day, so we had to act fast. The first priority was to get the pictures developed. Mr. Bai said it was too late now, but that he would take us to the place first thing in the morning that would develop the pictures for us. A place we could trust. Chen, I'm sorry for all the problems I caused you. Please forgive me. A.B., you have to stop blaming yourself. You should not spoken so freely, but you did not know. Please, we must go quickly. On the way to the camera store, Lu Chen told me about Pastor Lee's arrest. I didn't want to tell her we were actually there taking pictures in case they didn't turn out. How I prayed we got at least one good picture. Baby, we're out here. We're just getting pictures developed that my dad took. I'll have to explain later. Uh, Mr. Bai, tell her to make it as big as possible. Uh, Mr. Bai told us it would be better if he went alone to pick up the pictures. He said these pictures could get the clerk in a lot of trouble. We agreed to wait for Mr. Bai back at the hotel. Abby, would you please sit down? You're making me nervous. I can't, Dad. Mr. Bai said he would be right back. What if something happened to him? Or, or what if the pictures didn't turn out? Abby, I don't understand. What's going on? All right, I'll tell you. We were at the meeting yesterday, and we saw Pastor Lee get arrested. 
Why were they here? I told you not to come. I had to do something, anything. I felt so bad. So your uncle took me and my dad to the meeting, and we hid behind a pole. And my dad started snapping pictures, but a policeman saw us, and we started running for it. That was you? Yeah, that was us, but I'm not sure if the pictures turned out good or not. I think you should open these. Ah, uh, it's blurry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you did it, Dad! <laughs> oh, no, you did it, Abby. <laughs> I told Lu Chen and Mr. Bai what we were planning to do, and they agreed to meet us that afternoon before we headed off to the airport. We were going home in just a few hours. We had to act fast. How are you, Mr. Raz, Abby? Can I get you something to eat? No, I'm good, Quinn. I'm good, too. But we have something for you, Quinn. I don't understand. What's this? Just open it. You'll see. I, I don't know what this means. Oh, I think you do, Quinn. And not only that, but I have a little deal to make with you. You either have your superiors release Pastor Ling and Liang immediately, or I'll have this picture printed in every major newspaper in the United States. Mr. Rams, I really do not think we should be speaking about this here. That's really all I had to say. Abby, let's go. Oh, and Quinn? Feel free to keep the picture. I even signed it for you on the back. While I was packing, I couldn't help but think back over all that happened over the last week. I had gone from being totally naive about what Chinese Christians go through, to getting my friends arrested, to standing up to a Chinese secret agent. I know Lu Chen told me it wasn't my fault, but I still felt pretty pathetic. I think the biggest problem is that many Christians in the West just don't understand what is really going on in China. We live our own lives thousands of miles away, and it is just too easy to avoid the difficulties they go through. I know that described me, but not anymore. Abby, you have a visitor. Hey Lu Chen. Abby, you did it. My brother and family were released a few hours ago. No, I didn't. I'm the one that actually caused the problems. No, I didn't. No, listen. You were right. When I first got here, I didn't understand what you were going through. And when I thought I understood, I only made things worse for you. I was used by the secret police like I was one of their pawns or something. But now I want to be a secret agent. Only I want to be God's agent this time. And Tell everybody back home what's going on in China. And that's my story and how I went from being a secret agent of the Chinese police to God's agent. And now you can be God's agent too. And remember to pray for and tell others about your persecuted brothers and sisters in countries like China. This is Agent Abby Rains signing off. Until my next assignment.